everybody. I'm going to present you today uh, a rechargeable Cob LED work light. All right, so let's get started. The product of today is this rechargeable Cob work light. I stumbled across this one accidentally. I didn't want to purchase it, but um, here we go. I did uh, have it a go and quite pleased with it. Normally the retail price of this one is $14.99, but I got it on bargain for eight quid. All right, so the main purpose uh, buying this rechargeable LED work is not the, the LED itself, you know, because I got plenty of them, but this is a functional thing. And as you can see here, I got loads of accessories as well. And you can use those to charge your other power banks, your other your stuff. But let's start with the beginning. What means uh, COB technology? COB means chip on board. The use of chips with multiple diodes, so there is no casing which enables a much denser LED array of light. Mm. All right, so let's open in the package. We got the instructions here. From the instruction, the only thing that we have to keep in mind is when this device is plugged in, do not turn it on. And the rest, you know, is common sense. All right, so what do you have here? We have this one. This is the 12 volts car adapter. I think it's 12, yeah, 12 and 24 volts car adapter charger. This one can be used with a solar panel as well in conjunction, so you can charge your other power bank as well. And from any power source, that's gonna be from 12 to 24 volts. So this is very useful as well. Second item on the list is the mains adapter. This one says 100 to 240 volts AC and outputs 4.2 two volts DC and 1000 milliamps. So it's 4.2 watts. This one is useful as well. If you got power bank, if you wanna uh, make your own power bank, that's it, you got a charger, you got a DC charger as well, which you can use for various other projects as well. All right. Next thing is the LED cob himself. As you can see here, it's a little bit dusty. Looks all right, no, it's just plastic. It's got a switch here. It's got this dust proof adapter when you can plug in the, the power in. It's got this aluminum fan as well. You can use for other projects. This one is the stand on thingy. If I can open to open it, uh-huh. And here you go, it's just like this. You see, very nice looking. Let's make it a power blinding test. <laughs> Yeah, all right, nice one. All right, so till now it's pretty all right, but we can see from the 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 box itself they didn't go too far. They said this is a lithium iron rechargeable battery inside, which is good. The LED, which is good, professional series, but it don't say actually how many watts this one can produce, how long it's gonna store the battery inside it. I tested into the night, as you can see here. It's not that impressive, but it's good for the money that we spend on it. And we, we can reuse it for other projects as well. So it's, it's very handy to have one of these, especially for camping, hiking, DIY, and when the power goes out and so on like that. All right, so first thing, let's try to open it, this one and see how much space is inside and if we can add more batteries to it. It's got just four screws from the back, you know, so it's gonna be very easy to open up this one. Just unscrew these four screws and maybe, whoop, 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 whoop. Hm. damn it. All right, now, oh, this is quite glass. Hm. Quite impressed. Now, let's see. What the thing is gonna pop up? Oh, this is the glass. Quite sturdy. And they got a seal here as well. Nice one. It's all bulky. So we have to find another screwdriver and unscrew these three screws. All right, so we got just three screws. We managed to unscrew them. Let's see 
what's hiding inside this work light? Mm -hmm. The seal no, doesn't make anything. There you go. This is a metal thingy which pops out. And there you go. Inside is just one battery. One battery which is capacity is unknown. And a small LED chip inside it. Let's let's have it try to see if we're gonna be able to stick another thing on it. As you can see, we're gonna pop out another battery and try to. Alrighty then. So very easy. We can upgrade this one to two batteries, so it's gonna hold twice as long. Yeah. Just needs adjustment and tidy them up. And should be good to go. But let's have a closer look inside. Does it say something on this battery? It's well hidden there, doesn't say the capacity and it's got foam all over it. And on top of that it's got just one uh, 5 ohm, one, uh, 5 watts, sorry, 1 ohm resistor. And let's have a closer look to the thingy to see how much power is gonna drift. Yeah, just a sec. All right, now let's see what's the voltage. I'm gonna be dazzled here. Mm, damn it. All right, now it's better. Put some sunglasses onto it if you don't wanna get dazzled. And plus and minus. 2.9 as you can see on the multimeter 2.9 volts and now let's go to the ohms to the amps setting sorry all right let's save it a go we have the multimeter set it to amps we're gonna put one probe here basically bypassing the the switch so it's 0 0.7 all right so 0 0.7 Friends, so 2.7 times 0 0.7 is equivalent of 1.8 watts. So this one is producing 2 watts of power. You can see the chip here, so it's not that big. Doesn't say nothing. Just the code ZX24241C2Y. So that's the way it is. And the battery, I'm guessing, is tops can be 1000 milliamps. So this one can last roughly one, one hour and a half, two. But you can add more batteries, so you're gonna have a longer life. So it's not that impressive, but it's a good item to have. Very useful, you can upgrade it straight away. And very useful in the season that's gonna come in on camping and all sorts of stuff. And plus you got all these free accessories you can use for other things. All right, friends, let's mount it back together and see you on the next one. We are nearly done. I'm gonna flip it over, put the screws back, and all right, friends. Now the test. We have assembled it back. Yay! It's working. So although it's got the seal all around this one, and it's got a seal to the switch as well, which is quite handy. And this one, this is not a bad handy work like to have around, and easily upgrade the battery because it's not gonna be that great. But it does the job. This looks all right. It's nice and, and sturdy. And you got two more accessories that you can use for your other projects. All right, friends. Thanks for, for watching. That was all. Thumbs up, subscribe, and see you on the next one. Ever radio. Yeah, let work like it. Working as a chef. Yep. Nice one. See ya.